Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here. In this video I'm going to show you how to convert continuous variable into categorical ones. You might want to wish you might want to do this if you are running a cross tabs analysis. Remember that cross tabs you can only apply it if you have uh, qualitative variables. You might also wish to convert this uh, continuous variable into categorical if you're running some type of ANOVA. All right, so there's various reasons. So let's show you how to do it. Right, I've got weight here, data, and let's say we wish to split this into, which is weight is scale variable, isn't it? Yeah, so it's say weight is measuring kilograms. Say we wish to convert this into categorical variable and we're going to have three levels um, up to say 59 weight up to range up to 59 and from 60 to 70 and then 71 upwards so how do we do that we do that using the recode command we we'll go transform now you can recode into same or different but I prefer to recode the different in case I make an error Wait, take that across, give it a new name. So let's say it's uh, WGT for weight, cat is categorized. Wait for the label, then I press change. Old, now in case you haven't seen my previous videos by the way, this name here. N for name, N also for nickname. In other words, it's just a label for you. It's just a shorthand name. So that's for something that you memorize. Label, this is the actual kind of description that will appear in your output. So this, whatever description goes in here, has to make sense to the reader, right? This is just a code. It's only you will see it. Nobody else will. Old and new values. we we'll press that. OK. Now. Here we use the range button. So first I said, what, so we've got to recode this now. So up to 59, so lowest value up to 59 kg. That's going to be coded 1. That's going to form one group. So that's going to be the, OK. Next, we want 60 to 70, I said. So let's use the range here. Range from the lowest value, 60, to the upper value for my categories. 60 to 70 like that and that's going to be coded 2 and finally everything else all other values coded 3 I could use that or I could say range value through the highest which is 71 through to the highest so I could either do 71 here like this or I could just press all other va values that means everything else left over it's coded 3, so this will be the highest weight. Okay, so I've got here now recoded it into continuous into categorical. The age up to 59 is coded 1, 60 through to 70 is coded 2, 3, everything else coded 3. I press continue and then I press OK. And you can see now I've got a new column, weights cat. So 70, that is in the second category. 65 that is in the second category, 58 that's in the first category and so on okay now finally I might wish to give these values so weight cat for the value 1 say it's just a low weight for the coded 2 let's say that's medium weight medium level and 3 that's everything else let's say that's just a high side these labels will appear in your output and now I've coded it okay it's as simple as that so to see how many look at the frequencies of the of um, number of observations in each category we can look at analyze descriptive stats frequencies transfer the weight cat into the variable box and press OK and here we go. We can see here that in the low category, so these are the labels I gave, low category we've got 37% of observations fall on that, medium 25, high 37.5. Alright, so 
to recap, continuous to categorical, yes we can do that by recoding using the recode recode uh, function, recode into different variables, I prefer, prefer to do that. And why you might re want to recode is you have some procedures such as cross tabs or ANOVA where you have categorical variables. Okay, hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.